I bought a seltzer the other day and I had to pay a nickel deposit. And that's the subject of today's idea of the day. Here's an interesting thing. I'm not a soda drinker. I really am not. Although from time to time I've been known to have a seltzer. And whenever I do that in New York State, I have to pay a nickel deposit on the bottle, or the can in this case. But when I buy water, juice, iced tea, chocolate milk, yoo-hoo, no deposit. Why is that? Doesn't it seem kind of weird that the government, the people who regulate such things, consider it a duty to collect that five cents, that extra five cents, as a way, they say, of keeping the streets clean. Because, according to them, the nickel deposit encourages the person to bring it back, to get their nickel back. Now, I don't know about you, but to this day, I don't think I've ever brought back a bottle or a can to get my nickel. So, I mean, what it ends up doing is it created a whole enterprise for homeless people or just enterprising people who decide to go out and go to street cans and pull out all the nickel deposit cans. But here's the weird thing. As I mentioned, I don't drink soda that often, except for seltzer. And as it turns out, there's no deposit on those bottles. So as a result, they're only taking deposits on the other ones. So these people who are literally combing through garbage cans looking for things, sometimes they end up throwing the other stuff and then that stuff ends up on the street. Or maybe it's just people who throw out their water bottles and the water bottles are everywhere. Why is there a distinction? The weird thing about it is, statistically speaking, if you go back in time to, let's say, the 70s or even the early 80s, sodas were the most prominent drink out there. If you went into a uh, deli and you bought a sandwich and a drink, chances are it was a soda. But over the years, water and iced tea and to some extent juices are now outselling sodas, which is why Coke and Pepsi have a water uh, company under them, Dasani and uh, Aquafina, because they know water is actually outselling their sugar drinks and it's really cheap to make. So the strange thing is, why have we not adjusted our deposit laws accordingly? Now, first and foremost, I am not advocating that we start taking a nickel on every bottle of water just because it's going to be less plastic out there in the streets because people will be picking that up. I'm actually saying the opposite. Let's get rid of these stupid nickel deposits in the first place. We're taking nickel deposits, or in some cases, I think it's a dime in some states, uh, towards the soda bottles just because they had carbonation, which is really weird. And even the one gallon or hit without the one gallon, the two liter sized bottles, like who's going to throw those in the street? Do they actually have to take a, a nickel just because they think you're going to throw that, that two liter empty bottle on the street? Let's get real. The nickel deposit is outdated. Let's either be consistent, put a deposit on everything, or more specifically, get rid of the nickel deposits altogether. That's it. No more. And that's today's idea of the day. All right. So that's today's idea of the day. I uh, hope you liked it. If you visit ideatoday.com, you'll see a new one every day. Every day. Yeah, some of them don't suck. And, and don't forget to subscribe. And you can see them here every day. Brand new one. And some of my videos don't suck either.